Apparently the case for Arch Manning, who is choosing reportedly in a way to opt out of the EA Sports College football video game. The deal here is that every player was going to get, I think it's 600 bucks and a copy of the game for their willingness to opt in the game. And basically, you know, thousands of players are kind of choosing to do that. Overwhelmingly, players seem to be more than happy to be a part of the game and get some compensation for doing so. Anwar Richardson, I believe, was the first to report that Arch Manning is not going to do that for Texas. Now, here's the deal. I I think there's a lot that you can kind of take from this. First of all, you know, I think it kind of speaks to the difference between perception and reality when it comes to college sports overall as it relates to, like, say, the EA Sports video game. You know, when the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit first took place, you know, I think there was this real attempt to sort of cast college sports in the role of oppressor over the athletes. Oh, it's taking advantage of the athletes. You know, it's it, it's using them for, for a, you know, a lack of sufficient, you know, compensation. But ultimately what you find out is, is the whole EA Sports video game, which essentially went away for a decade because of stuff like the O'Bannon trial, the actual amount of money we're talking about here is not in the millions. I mean, people have this sort of like, you know, fantastical idea of how much their presence in a video game like this is perhaps worth. It's worth a few hundred dollars. When you look at the total number of sales that EA Sports does and the total number of players in the game and the fact there's not one person anywhere that would choose not to buy the game because so-and-so is not in it, including Arch Manning, by the way, you're led to believe that the actual economic value of someone's so-called NIL in this game is perhaps a little bit smaller than some people were first sort of pontificating about when the Ed O'Bannon trial and the Ed O'Bannon lawsuit first took place, the former UCLA basketball player who sort of started all of this. And so I think that's an important reality to confront here is that things like this just aren't worth as much as you think they're worth or, you know, what you might think it would be worth on behalf of some players, just not. Uh, A lot of that, you know, stuff is just, you know, greatly exaggerated. And the actual payments and the willingness of players to take those payments when it comes to the uh, EA Sports video game kind of proves how true that is. But in the case of Arch Manning, I got to tell you, as someone who's a traditionalist and wants to maintain, you know, the, the kind of essence of college sports to the extent that it can be maintained, I don't really have a problem with Arch Manning not wanting to be a part of this game because here is the reality. While for 90 to 95% of the players in college football, the regular deal they already get is probably about as good a deal as they're ever going to get, whether it be you know, the, the the value you get from playing college athletics or the small amount of compensation you get for being a part of the video game, that's about as good of an amount of compensation as you can hope to get. They're always going to be a tiny group of outliers for whom that's not true. And we've got no problem around here saying that Arch Manning's one of those guys, not because of how good of a player he is, because actual value is not necessarily always demonstrated by talent. Your actual value is sort of demonstrated by your marketability. And obviously, in the case of Manning, he has a very famous last name attached to him. Maybe he turns out to be the kind of player that lives up to that last name, or maybe he doesn't. But there is no doubt that part of Manning's value is his last name, the same way it would be true for, like, Bronny James or Shador Sanders or any other athlete who happens to have a very famous father or be a part of a very famous family. That marketability sometimes is just sort of attached to how well people know you, and people already feel like they know Arch Manning very well, despite the fact that he hasn't played at Texas. So, you know, do we take Arch Manning at his word that what Richardson reported was is that uh, he wants to focus on football on the field? You know, he wants to focus on that. No, that that doesn't seem all that believable to me. I think that Manning believes he's worth more than the small amount of money he'd be paid to be in this video game, and he's probably right. Uh, he probably is the one of the very small number of athletes who should probably consider holding out because one of these days he's the kind of person who could be on the cover of a video game like this, and perhaps he's laying the groundwork to demand more money if that is indeed ever the case. And given his level of fame, that's probably the kind of thing that he has a reasonable consideration to to, to probably wonder about. But 90-something percent of the rest of college football is just not in the same category. They know that as players, and that's why they're sort of willing to take the deal that's out there Manning sort of knows he's different, and we don't have a problem with him being treated different given the fact that as an athlete, he's sort of in a special category. So this is one of those deals where people will still buy the video game without Arch Manning, but Manning can probably, you know, rightfully believe that his actual value is probably a little higher than what the video game was willing to pay him, and this is the sort of thing you move on from. It's kind of the same deal with, like, like Barry Bonds was never part of the Major League Baseball Players Association or 
like Michael Jordan was never in NBA Jam. Isn't that true? Jordan was never in NBA Jam. Am I? Yeah, I'm being told by uh, yeah Cody, who also kind of remembers the '90s like me, uh, that uh, that that Jordan was never in that game. Like we've had this thing happen in sports before. We just sort of move on. People still love the game, whether Jordan was in it or not, and people will still love EA Sports College Football, whether Arch Manning is in it or not. And Manning is probably one of those small athletes in the sport, small number of athletes. I mean, who really could perhaps hold out for greater value in the future, and we'll see if he's ever able to actually get it.